LRBAquatics.com. Hello, world. How's it going? So it's super early. I'm actually here at the Aquatic Experience 2018 in New Jersey, right before the doors even open and the crowd gets in here. I'm going to give you guys, whoa, hello. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour before I have to get back to my booth. Sorry about yesterday. Didn't have a video, but it just got way, 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 way too crazy. Didn't have much time to do anything. So let's start this off. Here we've got raffles over here, concession stand over here. We've got the uh, kids scape tanks. We'll go over there and look at those real quick. And if you guys got questions, I'll be reading the chat as much as I can to answer that. How did the contest go? So I got second place in category one for my yellow Neo Caradinas. My Rileys didn't have any size, so I didn't really get anything on that and no scape award for me yet this is the uh first place tank for the kids aquarium very creative nice guppies and another one i love how the uh kids just they go all out look at this very cool maybe i need to make a tank like this someday and then this guy did a natural tank, more natural tank. Very bright fluorescent. That's a nice tank, nice scape. Natural first place. So it looks like they had a creative type and then a uh, natural type of group for what well, you can win. Oh, that's really cool. I like these dinosaurs. That's probably something I would have done as a kid. Oh, look at that. I got an egg and everything looks like an egg. A little different, a little different. Then we got schedule events, all that stuff. Let's go on back over this way. I think I saw a question there. I'm glad you can record this. How was the shrimp contest? The shrimp contest was great. Like I mentioned earlier, I did get second in category one. And then raffles, lots of raffles this year. As always, we got custom aquariums over here. Ted Judy right there, good morning. Look at this huge tank. This thing's massive. Absolutely massive. How would you like that for a shrimp tank? How many in attendance? So there's nobody in here right now, but it was absolutely insane yesterday. And that's a big reason why I'm shooting this now. These are all different raffles. But the big reason why I'm shooting it now is because it will get so loud in here and so crazy. And I'm not gonna have any time to actually, those are some beautiful goldfish. Uh, we got cobalt over here but yeah i just won't have any time to actually uh video later when i'm working my booth and everything and uh over here some nice tanks i got displayed these are actually ones that you can win on a raffle so a lot of people love getting in on the raffles and trying to win things i mean you win the full complete setup too and the great thing on Sunday, if you guys are around Sunday towards the end of the show, that's a great time to get things for a uh, really good deal because a lot of people are just trying to sell their stuff and not have to take it back home. But that's another one you can win. You can also win this tank here. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm a little shaky here. Okay, house sales going. You got help at your booth. Yes, huge shout out to Jess Shrimp Granny for her help yesterday she was absolutely amazing without her i probably wouldn't have sold anything because i wouldn't have even made it to my booth that's how crazy it was yesterday i don't know I, i'm sure i sold some things but i'm not sure what another tank you can uh win as well nice rainbow tank i love how they kind of went with a uh, species and then that one's like a community this is a nice tank look they got three lights on it and so you just enter the raffle and yeah you can win that awesome scape let's see south america and then they give talks they got rooms where they actually give talks so our speakers oh chris lockup speaking today george farmer speaking today those were yesterday's seminars Wow, here we go. 
some sturgeon. They really are. They're very active. Obviously this dun 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 dun. It's kind of like putting a bait in a cup. You know, you only do it for temporary. They really, they sell them more as pond fish. Because, uh, you know, they like to the and some smaller tanks if you guys don't want to raffle win big tanks they got smaller tanks any difference at this location from uh chicago and different booths so there are different booths different sponsors it seems like um not a whole lot of differences but there are some differences for sure we got aquion coral life camp marine oh cool puffer tank look at those Look at the eyes on that. The blue eyes, beautiful. Beautiful little puffers. And those are available too, so they can take them home. So a lot of these uh, companies as well, they try to get rid of their tanks. Looks like these guys are doing it as well. So they don't really have to do anything. Sandy Cheek says those bite shears haven't moved since Friday. It's interesting, they were hunkered down there too. Have you seen the new Fluval tanks? Any thoughts? What? has been your favorite part uh, i don't even know what my favorite part's been that's really hard to say but uh fluval i believe is around here uh fluval actually sponsors the aquascaping contest i'm not sure which new tank you're talking about because they get they got quite a few new tanks i think the uh the one that they did last year for the scape is definitely a new tank it's like a 60 gallon or something like that, which I'll go and show you guys the aquascapes too here later. Actually, here's Fluval right here. Speaking of which. And yeah, they got some neat setups where everything's internalized. Good for salt water or fresh water. What is a raffle? I'm not from US. Raffle is when you pay like a dollar or something and then they give you a ticket and then they put all the tickets in a bucket and they draw a number and if you win if they draw your number then you win that raffle nice cpos in here tiny little flu ball tank light and everything all built in nice opening for feeding and the light to get down this is the kind of lights they had last year on the nano how many discus are you planning to bring back home so i already did buy two discus i won't lie i already bought two and you guys will probably see those later. Very nice scapes on these. I believe those are the honey garamis. Nice mollies. That one they use fake plants. Ooh, this is a nice scape too. This is like a bigger flex, looks like. Nice school of rummy nose. They're healthy and happy. Very cool. Do, 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 do. That's beautiful. I love rummy nose. I wish I had more angelfish. It's a nice tank. I like that. I like the fish in it too. Nice corridors. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover everything, you guys, because this is going to take forever. So, Hikara over here. We've got Tetra Glowfish all over here, are Spectrum brand foods. Jellyfish Shop. We've got. Uh, vivariums so if you're not ju just into aquariums there are a lot of people here with vivariums and paludariums and other stuff got all the bioactive uh, material in there very neat oh that's nice make a quick water change that's pretty cool <laughs> you guys are funny this is absolutely beautiful i would love to get into something like this actually my dream in the foyer is to have a big paludarium one day i have talked to custom aquariums before but i just couldn't afford it yet i got too many things to buy like i don't even want to talk about it okay uh lucas what's the biggest surprise you have seen so far i don't know not a whole lot really surprises me these days I'm a Gemini, so I always expect the unexpected. But Friday, it was super slow, but I guess everybody works. And then, man, yesterday, it was absolutely nuts. So I'm sure today is going to be crazy as well. And they got all the plants for sale. 
And then we've got Carib C over here, New Revolution, and some other stuff. And we got some corals here, it looks like. More corals down there. Uh, product news. We got Imperial Tropicals. They got all kinds of cool fish. They had some really neat discus. There's some rainbows. It's like Herbert Axorati, sort of. Maybe a cross. I don't know. Uh, looks like they got the turquoise. They had some discus. Oh, here they are. Some nice discus. Lights aren't on quite yet. They got cichlids. They do have that big placo this year as well. Looks like he's changing colors, unless that's a different one. Same name. So it might be the same one. It's kind of smaller though. Seems seems like the other one was bigger. Lucas, are you going to be swapping from now on? I will be going to the next GCCA swap. Yes, yeah, so I will be at that swap coming up, and I am planning on doing kind of keeping up with swaps if I can. A GCCA, I definitely plan on going to that probably every time. Uh oh, Rummy knows for sale. I wonder if this is where Fluval got theirs. And they're only four bucks. That's not bad. Uh oh. Yeah, they might have to come home with me. Just might have to come home with me. Here we got what it looks like Clifford West Estes and Nautilus Marine Wholesale. Florida Tropical Fish and Plants. That's the whole farm association. Looks like they got a rainbow tank again this year. Very nice. So have you only scored some discus? No, I actually got some other fish as well. They put me right next to Kingley's guppies. So you know I had to buy some of Kingley's guppies. As a matter of fact, I bought some mosaics. And some of you guys may know that I don't get into the mosaic guppies. But these, I could not resist. So I will probably be showing you guys those here in a little bit. Look at these big black skirt long fins. Those things are huge. Look at those to those uh, barbs. Like that's a good size long fin tetra. Lots of fish. And I don't I don't know if they sell these or if they're selling these. I don't think they do. I think they just showcase them in the farm. Nice Denisonian clown loach. It's really cool how they're kind of schooling together. I wanted to thought of them schooling together. These are albino cherry, long fin cherry barbs. So weird. So weird. Green barbs. Uh oh, they're about to open it up. These are the uh, gold barbs, I think. Or no, rosy barb. Yeah, gold barb. Cichlids. Are you a member, dude? That's so cool. Can't wait to swap. Yes, I am a member of the GCCA. That's about the only way you can get a swap table. It's impossible. And you gotta set your alarm because they sell those tables so fast. Nice Oscar. Some Rasboras. Ooh, nice uh, thread fins. Bunch of, uh, looks like Gertrudes. Very cool. Fricatas, Signifers. The uh, Dragon Blood Cichlid. Those guys are a little looking a little washed, but Rummy knows look okay. Nice Corys. Hi guys. Uh, yeah, but there's a lot of YouTubers here too, so I'm sure if you guys do a YouTube search, there's all kinds of videos on this. Oh my God, is she pregnant? Look at that. She is full. I don't know what this fish over here doing. I wonder if they're breeding over there. What in the world? I think they are. I think they're over there breeding. That's real corkscrew valve too. That is wild. Yeah, lifeguard aquascaping. So all kinds of different aquascaping stuff. These are like little flow bamboo pump kits where the water flows down. That's kind of neat. Some nice pumps. 
Or no, that's uh, drainage. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's a nice big tank. All right, Gail. She said she's on her way. We'll see you soon. Arowanas. Dun, 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 dun. I kind of wish I had an arowana again. Ooh, a little stingray. Oh my God, and then they put them in with these fish. I can't remember the name of those. They don't look uh, that friendly for a stingray. Whoa, look at this guy. I'm not sure what that is either. Huh, interesting. Oh, gee, nice to meet you yesterday as well. Tarpons, right? No, I don't think they're tarpons. I think they're like a buck tooth. No, they're not the buck tooth tetra. Maybe? Or a vampire fish. One of the two. What's up, LRB? Hope you had fun this weekend. Have you checked your Patreon? Sent you a message. So, yes, I did check my Patreon, and I will get those for you, Kendall Otter. Only five hours. Why aren't you there? Let's see. Uh... Yeah, Fish Mart, Bula Buddies. I'm not sure what that is. They don't look like they have much set up. Jungle Bob Enterprises. It's got all kinds of terrarium stuff, looks like. And some uh, 3D backgrounds. There's Jungle Bob. Yeah, they look great. We got Sarah Food over here. Carib Sea. Aquatic Life. That's another tank, nice tank see what they got in here and if I'm missing any of your questions sorry but kind of looking around and trying to read the chats not the easiest and then we got a dynamic tank over here New Jersey Reef Club coral reef connection we've got uh, the Magnus got a booth trying to hype that up already Ellos the aquarium company Looks like they got some tanks. Saltwater tank, crystal clear. Looks like they got all kinds of stuff going on in here. Kind of a new name. Haven't heard of these guys yet. Little escape. Oh, we got coral reef connection. Okay, did that one. Fritz, we got all the Fritz stuff, all your Fritz needs. Radical Reef over there. We got Protobio. We got High Door with. If any of you guys are into aquascape and know Corey Hopkins, he's actually with High Door this year, and he's got this scape tank up for him. He's an absolutely, absolutely amazing aquascaper. Which I think he won an award this year for sure. Bring Wesley when he gets older. Definitely, definitely. A lot of people were asking for Wesley. A lot of people. They're like, where's Wesley? I swear, he's more famous than I am. Sweet boy. I'm missing him for sure, too. Reef Conservation Society over here. And then we got uh, Dynamic Tanks, which this is a little different. Looks like they got corals going on. They got girls over here. They got a... Uh, turntables and everything they got a trailer in here it's a little different how's it going we got other people videoing ocean inspirations over here we got ruby reef we got kessel over here we've got sepora over here um got all kinds of items nothing in their tanks but nice frag tank i need something like this for shrimp did you get Sarah Tropical Granules to sponsor you? No, it's actually Tetra Tropical Granules, and no. They're probably never going to sponsor me because I already pushed their stuff. And they're probably like, why are we going to pay him to sell our stuff when he already does? Tsunami Coral Reef uh, going on, and then uh, Ming Trading. So we're just still kind of in the front here, fresh from Alaska. So this is a Mega One over here, all their foods and stuff. But yeah, we are like, we, we've gone through like maybe a quarter so far. We got my aquarium box over here. Greg Jones, Mass Aquariums. They've got driftwood. They've got some uh, little beta tanks set up here and stuff. Bull tanks. 
and all kinds of stuff. How's it going, Greg? So my aquarium box, a lot of you guys may know who they are, but if you don't, check them out. And then pets in the classroom over here. Ocean Nutrition. We've got Batal's Exotic Aquarium. So we've got some coral pieces inserts. Looks like they got cichlid tanks. Really big tanks. Ooh, look at this stingray over here. We gotta go check this out. That's a nice piece. It's not real, but that's pretty cool. That would make a nice piece in a big tank for sure. Oh yeah, there you go. So that's what it looks like inside right there. Yeah, definitely. Everything's better in a fish tank. Well, besides electronics. <laughs> nice stingray too. Uh with the fish in deep down the bottom of the ocean. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Some cool fish in here. I love these. We got River Life over here hanging out. Rack. Big D over here. Josh doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Uh, we got the Reef Hobbyists going on here. The magazines. So you guys can swoop up magazines too. Let's go check out the lizard guys over here. A little different than fish i can get uh i'm not real big in reptiles turtles are cool lizards i've had lizards and snakes as a kid but i think i kind of got my fill of them when i was younger but they're still cool to me different snakes turtle turtle oh he wants out will perform at your school or daycare oh that's cool so I'll give like little shows at schools. Ooh, how do you guys like that? A little tarantula. Otter Creek Aquatics, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Thanks for always taking care of us fish heads. Have a safe trip home. Well, thank you. Really appreciate it. And I gotta apologize to you guys for not getting in on Friday night's chat because to be honest, I didn't realize that I missed that. Um, Q and A until yesterday. I'm just like, what in the world? I forgot to even do my Q and A. My days got mixed up. It's just been absolutely insanity for me. But moving on, that now here's the escape tanks. So here's all the nanos here. They had a lot of entries this year. Let me go ahead and do this first, though. We've got a pet industry joint advisory council. We've got Brooklyn Hardscape, Kevin Kelly, if you guys never heard of him. Absolutely amazing scaper. Does awesome, awesome rock work. And I believe he's got a tank in here as well on the uh, scape tank. Benson's Pet Center. They've got all kinds of driftwood and other materials, foods and whatnot. But yeah, we got Justin H2O Aquatics, or plants. Oddball Aquatics, thank you for the super chat. Uh, bring your new assistant a fish tube shirt. All right, I can see what I can do. Uh, Purse cichlids, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. Throwing down the $5 super chat, that's beautiful. This is Danny Adams. This was one of my teammates last year. This is his Nano. Lots of depth to it, very beautiful. Nano tanks are so, so hard to compete with these days. It's because they, uh, they really go to town on these things. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Live? Yeah, oh, oh yeah, I'm always live. <laughs> I ain't got time to edit videos. I know. Justin's doing the real thing. Look at that rig. Follow Instagram. Oh, there you go. Right, what's up? We got KG Tropicals. <laughs> John Hudson in the house. It's a little different scape. A little voodoo going on. Got some air plants in there. Or, well, I don't know, little Venus fly traps and stuff. Just a little something to go towards lunch, buddy. More art heading your way. Awesome secret history living in your aquarium. Thank you so much for that. I really, 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 really appreciate it. 
and I could definitely use some lunch. I'm starving already. We've got George Farmer in the house doing his thing. He was one of the judges as well. This is actually Corey Hopkins' tank. Sorry. Very nice. And this is Kevin Kelly's, the guy I was telling you about earlier. Look at that rock work. Absolutely beautiful. I, he uses like a putty to like stick them together. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But I'm gonna have to pick his brain on that one and see. Actually growing up and out. Super B1121, thank you so much for the super chat. Says five. I'm not quite sure what the five means, but thank you so much for the uh, support. Very nice. There you go, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hmm. You must have been in it for the tank. Betcha. Did you cover the placings of the big tanks? No, not yet. I'm still moving over there. Nam Nugent. I'm surprised that one didn't finish out. Tank tested here. Amazing channel. He actually used to do documentaries for National Geographic. And now he's in the uh, fish world. And I tell you what, the videos he makes are absolutely stunning. And this is John Peeney's. He's got a three-peat. I mean, this year like for the nano aquascape so this is the third year he's actually won i would get closer to it but he's uh got his rig got the slider thing i'm sure he's gonna have an awesome video on it alex there yes <laughs> you always do you guys did awesome good job on it thank you um betsy coming thank you so much for the 20 dollars super chat that is awesome of you betsy wish you could be here she says find a really cool really super cool fish all right i can do that i've already bought some really cool ones from king lee and then i got uh, some cichlids as well nice scape boom almost there boom han tron he placed this year too i think he got yeah fourth this is a very neat scape as well Growing up and out. That's really cool. Very nice. Alex. And then Catherine Wright. All right, I'm going to go right back over to John Peeney's tank real quick since we've just got to look at this. It's insane. It is insane. But Super B1121, thank you so much again for. Oh, wait a second. Here we are. Thank you again for the super chat. It says, typo, buy yourself a coffee, take lots of videos. Sorry. George Farmer is trying to do his videos. I keep jumping in here. I want to show you guys this real quick. That's amazing. Like every direction you look, there's some depth in it. There's somewhere to always look. Look at this. Absolutely insane. Awesome. All right, now we'll go check out the large tanks. Oh, and then we got uh, custom glass terrariums over here. And uh, Waterscapes Aquatic Plant Nursery. No, no problem. And let's see here. Per Cichlids, thank you so much for both $2 Super Chats. Really appreciate that. Uh, Matt Can, thank you for your Super Chat as well. You guys are awesome. Uh, he said, buy yourself a coffee, take lots of videos. I did cover that one. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Aquarium Munsters over here. Tropica is over there. We got Georgie Boy on the uh, poster there. We got some nice tanks going. Look at the colors, the reds and greens on that. Absolutely beautiful. But your guys' is super chats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know how much I can thank you guys for that. I could probably never thank you enough. Lots of great plants they got here for sale. Some more equipment, tissue cultures, nutrition for your plants, food for your plants, more tissue cultures. And then here's the big scape tanks here. This is mine. I did not place this year. I went with more of a biotope kind of tank with a corkscrew valve, the dwarf neon rainbow fish, 
I got some water lettuce up top. And uh, Valicinaria actually flowers this time of year, so I brought that in. And it uh, actually has its flowers. So I've got all different sizes of dwarf neon rainbow fish. And yes. Why was one fish, two fish timed out? There's the uh, little ripple in the sand. Looks real natural. The snail's been making little trails in it. I liked it. The fish like to go over here and uh, play around in the rock. But I, I wanted to do something that people could actually replicate, you know. They can see and be like, hey, I could probably do that at my house, you know. And here's another one. Very nice. And then this is this year's winner right here. This is uh, Richard Valeros and Jerry Jobs. Uh, Tank and Chuck and Jeff. But this is absolutely amazing. They got shrimp in here. They got pygmy quarries all over the place. There they are. Look at that. School and pygmy quarries. But this tank is insane. And talk about depth everywhere you look. This is... I think this has definitely got more depth than any other tank I have ever seen. Look, even on the side of it. It's, oh, sorry about that, guys. You got all the green neon tetras inside there. All sticking out. A lot of uh, nubius. Looks like buches and moss. Woodwork. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, and this is uh, Bale and Shaw's and Scott Miller and Marvin and Nate's tank. This was third place. It's a nice scape. Um. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And then this is uh, Jennifer Williams' tank. This was second place. That wood right there, that driftwood is absolutely beautiful piece. To Real for YouTube, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I appreciate what you do for the community. Well, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. You guys are what keeps me going on this because I won't lie, I get burnt out sometimes, but you guys are definitely help motivate me to keep going all the time so thank you all i really appreciate it all right let's see what else we got here jennifer merva thank you so much for your two dollar super chat and i've been trying to i've been meaning to get a hold of you for a long time i did get your uh, support check and i really appreciate that jennifer and i do need to send you a message one sometime and just say hi and thank you all right um ch -ch -ch -ch. okay flip you guys over here we got ada equipment now this tank is absolutely insane but it costs you an arm and a leg with that backlight look at that backlight got the dwarf neon rainbow or black neons in there tetras and glow lights I'm not sure what kind of rock that is it definitely looks like something from a magazine The backlight on this is really neat. And you could change it different colors. They've got all kinds of cool products. They got, they got some more lines in. This is actually AFA who sell a lot of the ADA material. And they got like all these books, mono books and whatnot. But you can go through here and actually read these or look at them while you're here. They do sell them on their website, AFA website. Fancy tweezers and scissors and scaping tools. CO2 stuff. It's like different kind of gravels. Very neat. Stainless work. We got the soil substrate, filters, all kinds of stuff. And then these are really cool as well. We'll get over here on the other side. We got JBJ over here. Tons of stuff. If you guys know Chris Lockup with jbj so they got the scapers tank and all that kind of stuff shrimp king food 
But these little walls, these uh, living walls are really cool. They have this up here where the water actually flows and trickles down on these walls like the whole time so you can grow up and out of the water in open air. And then they also got like a mister one which just drizzles mist down it. Very neat. Very neat. I think those are really cool. All right, and then they've got tissue cultures as well. And then we got a beta exposition. Oh, Brad's Aquatics, did you meet? Chat with George Farmer. I did a, a little bit. Like we said hi, introduced ourselves and all that stuff. And yeah, that's what's really cool is you can just go up to all these people and just be like, hey, how's it going? And they just treat you like your family, you know? And then here are all these shrimp tanks, which I definitely don't have time to go through them all. Tron Olav hogs. I'm sure I didn't pronounce that right, but thanks for the nice videos. It says live in Norway, so it's literal far travel for the weekend. Well, I'm glad I could share this with you and thank you for your super chat, Tron. Yeah, these shrimp are insane. These are like the fancy tigers right here. These are probably the most expensive types of shrimp right here. But there is 160 entries this year. It was absolutely insane. We got Robin House, Flip Aquatics. What's happening? <laughs> awesome. All right. And then JBJ's got some tanks set up too. Looks like they're actually working on escape right now, looks like. Uh, workshop class, so yeah. Uh, George Farmer's been giving presentations on how to aquascape, other people as well. And we got Pecan Grove Solutions, Discus RS. I've been over there, Project Piaba. That's an amazing pro uh, project. They actually help a lot of people in the Amazon, the people who farm like Cardinal Tetras and stuff like that to make it more sustainable and conserve the actual fish. Then we got a huge group of the US shrimp keepers here. We got bipet shrimp, we got elevate shrimp, we got triton, and we got uh, aquarium creation, disco bee, all, all teaming up. These are like a lot of the people that you'll find on Facebook. They're all teamed up, got a huge booth here, driftwood. And uh, shrimp, got Eric Martins over there, Eric Lucas, Chris Hardy, Thomas Overfelt, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I appreciate it, brother, really do. They have some beautiful shrimp in here though. Look at these blue bolts, very nice. Crystals, Going. a lot of uh, 3D printed equipment from Elevate shrimp. They got great moss edges and ledges and looks like they got some plants this year too. They got some really good shrimp food too. I have tried some of those and uh, some of my caradinas do like to breed off of some of the like shrimp boosters and stuff. And then we got buches. We got shrimp farm down there. We got a 7C supply over here. We've got Joe's Aquarium. We got the Placo feeder. We got Flip's booth, which we'll get over there here real quick. Just Shrimp Granny there. She's been an absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing help. I can't thank her enough for what she's done. And then we got kids toys and stuff like that for the kids. And then they also have food and all that stuff. And then there's some really cool sharks over here as well. Look like nurse sharks. Where they actually get in there with them and whatnot and do like an actual presentation. And it was really cool to meet a lot of these other YouTubers as well here. Do, do, do. Pretty cool. And let's see. We got veterinarian services. So. If you got any problems with fish or anything like that, they've actually got a bunch of pamphlets and whatnot 
and you can actually talk to them the vets about it we got a raised aquarium over here and we got a rising tide more corals on this side a lace and let's see here flip you guys over and i will show you this kind of last section i think i think we almost covered it all okay so here we got hannah instruments they've been in the game a long time we got ph meters ta tds meters all that you guys know that stuff's important pro clear aquatic systems over here aquarium care center looks like they are corals mostly fish hut of new jersey mod corals we got current over here and then this pond by aquascape they did an amazing job on this they really knocked it out of the park tropical fish hobbyist magazine we got pro aquatics here in the house this is beautiful place just to chill I did show this in the last video, but I'll show it again just because it's that nice. So nice, got to show it twice. Especially these kois. These koi. And over here is the big flip booth, big uh, fish tube booth. And this is where it all goes down, man. This is the spot to be. We got Rico Reef tanks in the house. Uh, Jimmy's got his artwork down here, aquarium co-op, or Schwiski. I've got my Mad Scientist posters here, all free. Stickers and prints, free as well. There he is. Jimmy's in the house. Morning, man. How you doing? Good. I am live. Hello, world. Hello, world. Twin City Guppies. Uh, Priscilla MK Art has brought a lot of her art in as well. I'm a big supporter of her art. Like, it's she does some great work. Mad Tanks coming hard this year. He's got a CNC router machine. Been doing all these... Uh, wood pieces for aquatics look at that flip aquatics clock and then these guys flips got all kinds of stuff going on in here your remineralizers your cyclers nets posters shrimp shirts bonsai trees and uh yeah more driftwood some really nice shrimp. He's even got carbon chin shrimp over here. And carbon chin, he's actually won so many, so many awards for his shrimp. I'll show you some of those. But these are the uh, mosaic, tiger mosaics that I could not resist. King Lee's guppies here, Twin City guppies. Looks like they sold most of Cobra mosaics. Very beautiful. Albino red koi's all sold out. Wow. These uh, black Moscow's really good grade on them too. And then I got some of these tuxedo red koi's here. I may have to swoop up some of these Santa Claus shrimp though. These are really neat. I don't really have a tank for them though. That's the only problem. And then this is my section over here. Lots of plants, brought some of the fry containers, sponge filters, those sponge filters everybody's always looking for. Corkscrew valve, guppies, endlers, shrimp, little tanks, all the little different plants. Charles fish tanks in the house. How's it going? Good morning. Looks like Rob's been selling a lot of shrimp. He's got the monos, tigers, the uh, Rileys, Blacks, Reds, Blues, Dragonstone, Fish Tube shirts, Flip shirts. Uh-oh, I hope they got some shirts left here. Huh, I'll have to talk to Rob because I know some of you guys are wanting them. Then we got Q Aquatics here. One fish, two fish. 
Good morning. How's it going, Brian Dahl? We got Kingley over there. We got the fish nerd in the house. Radical Reef. Good morning, man. We got Prime Time in the house. Saw KG earlier, John. But yeah. So that's it. Uh, Mad Tanks did that as well for the YouTube thing. And they did a live stream yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that, they did a whole live stream yesterday. I believe on Flip Aquatics channel. Uh, per Cichlids, thank you so much again for the super chat. I need one of those LRB posters, Per Cichlids. Well, um, I could probably, I can definitely get you one. It's just getting it to you. Glad to see you in the chat, Kripke. Then we got H2O Plants over here. He's got a booth as well. Justin's got his booth selling all his plants. He brought in some really nice setups as well. Absolutely insane. Look at this, Mister. That's cool. That's cool. I haven't seen that with the Mister yet, just because I've been so busy. Very nice. He's got the uh, stone in here. Also some driftwood. But yeah, I think I covered most of it besides pin plaques over here i think i didn't get to them uh pet age this is some nice setups too wet pets here we've got some discus it shows the parents and this tank's really neat it's got these baby clown killies in it see them they're itty bitty and they're actually selling these too I mean, that, a mono shrimp is bigger than those fish. And then they've also got some bettas, even koi bettas, angelfish, some clownfish, and frags over there. But I've got people rolling in here, and I've got to get to my booth. Is NJAE busier than Chicago? So. This is the first year of the event. Yesterday was super busy. I think it uh, was up there with Chicago last year. So being the first year, it's uh, had a really, really, really good start. And I think they signed a five year lease. So this may be here for the next five years. All right, so I'm gonna hop off here. I gotta get to it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And like, share, subscribe and all that stuff. And until next time, everybody. Oh, tomorrow I got a nice little sweet treat for you guys too. I uh, made a trip halfway between again, and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. So I will see you then. Peace, everybody. Till next time. Are there similar events, conventions in Florida? So, not that I know of at this point. I know they did talk about taking AE to Florida, but that'll probably be after the five years. But all right, till next time, everybody. Peace.